Hi there, it's the 27th of November 2014 and today we're looking for candle snuff fungus. Okay, well despite candle snuff fungus being an extremely common fungus, I'm actually having difficulty finding some here. Um, there must be some somewhere around here. Okay, well I've found some here, um, this stuff here. Um, this is actually quite unusual to see it growing out of the ground like this. It grows on uh, dead wood. And uh, yeah, this one, it isn't really very typical of how it grows either. Um, it was here that I realised that this wasn't candle snuff at all, but another species entirely. Many fungi are extremely variable in appearance, and misidentification is an easy mistake to make. And if you're looking for edible fungi, then it could be a fatal mistake. With candle snuff, the white coloured tips are actually caused by spores, whereas the main fruiting body is black. Here in the red circled area, you can see where I scraped away some spores to reveal the black fruiting body beneath. However, with the fungus that I found, the white tips appear to be the colour of the fruiting body itself. Okay, well there's some here on this branch. Yeah, this is much more typical of how, you, how you'll see it growing. Um, yeah, it's got these white tips to it, at this time of year at least, um, which make it look a bit like an extinguished candle wick, hence the name candle snuff fungus. Another common name for candle snuff fungus is stag's horn fungus because the fruiting bodies often have an antler-like shape. However, there are several other species of fungi which also have the common name stag's horn, so the British Mycological Society choose to use the common name candle snuff to avoid confusion. And this fungus, it's um, one of a succession of fungi, that is it it needs other fungi to break down the um, the dead wood that it grows on and then this fungi will, fungi will take over so you might start with um, honey fungus that kills the tree then once the wood's dead another fungus will take over and break the wood down a bit more and then this is when hypoxylon um, candle snuff fungus moves in and um, yeah, as I said before, it has these white tips to it, which are actually caused by the spores it produces. And then um, these spores are asexual and um, essentially clones of the, the parent fungus. Further into the winter, the fruiting bodies become more flask-shaped and produce sexual spores, which are black. As regards edibility, um, well, I mean, they're not poisonous, so in theory you can eat them, but um, in theory you, you can eat this bit of dead nettle here. And uh, medicinal uses, well, um, yeah, cancer research have sort of looked into some of the properties of extracts from Xyleria um, from candle snuff fungus, and um, yeah, they found it's a couple of chemicals in them which will have a cytotoxic uh, effect on cancer cells, on some types of cancer cells, and that means that effectively they'll attack some kinds of cancer cells. So, yeah, all in all, not of great use regarding edibility or medicinal value at least not for the, the forager or the survivalist or whatever but um, yeah an interesting fungus that um, is really common and I'm sure you've seen it growing on tree stumps before it's, it's all over the place despite my difficulty finding some today but there you go candle snuff fungus mm -hmm.